When I came to Missouri from West Texas, I expected to find boring layer cake geology, but I was so excited to find that that is not the case. I was blown away by the St. Francis Mountains. They are a gorgeous place to find exposures of 1.4 billion year old rhyolites. They have old mines in them and they host iron deposits. And for that reason, they became my home. Once I began graduate school at Missouri S&T, I had two great internships. One with Doe Run Mining Company, a world-class lead deposit, and the second with Missouri Geological Survey, where I eventually began my career. At Missouri S&T, you're surrounded by like-minded individuals who value education and knowledge. I often jokingly say, the nerdier you are, the cooler you are. I like that all my professors know me by name. I also like that they make time for me despite our equally busy schedules. For my specific program in petroleum engineering, I liked that the curriculum had incorporated more geology than that of other universities that I had considered. In order to understand complex geologic structures like the folds you see behind me, Dr. Eckert and I created a Structure and Geomechanics Task Force. This task force brings together diverse groups of scientists and engineers, each with their own expertise. The geologists coming out into the field and collecting the structural data that they need to model with sophisticated numerical models on the computer. And the engineers doing this modeling get together with the structural geologists and we can understand the origin of these folds. Missouri SNT also has a long tradition in the field of paleontology, which is my specialty. Paleontology and sedimentology bring in a lot of bearing and information to every other aspect of geology. Well, even more of so, correct, yeah. yeah. One thing I really like about s and is our small class size. It gives me more one-on-one -on -one time with professors, and our small class size translates to a smaller department size, which gives us a really tight-knit department together. There's success because your friends here have helped you prepare. Today, we'll be acquiring data using unmanned aerial vehicles my research is groundwater resource exploration to collect photogrammetry data to locate optimal water well drilling locations in post-Civil War Uganda. Geological engineering is very much humanitarian in nature. The Geological Engineering Department offers several emphases, be it geotechnical, natural hazards, environmental remediation, or remote sensing. One of the unique features of the petroleum engineering undergraduate and graduate programs here at Missouri S&T is a mechanical earth modeling emphasis. No other petroleum program in the country has that emphasis. Students learn how to understand the state of stress in the reservoir and in the wellbore and how that affects drilling operations, fracturing, injection, and other things we do as petroleum engineers. And many of our students choose to take one more geology class and get a minor in geology. One of the things that I learned in my 25 years of private sector experience was that clients usually engage you to solve a problem. My emphasis in my teaching is on problem solving, how we use analogs in the real world, how we use history, how we use interviews and literature searches to learn how people have solved problems in the past before we formulate the potential solutions for the future. Isn't that cool? That actually gets more blood to your head so you can think better on your algebra questions. 